Okay guys, it is 20 to 7 now on Monday morning and I've been to work um, today and I've just got home and I've come back to a really stinky little puppy so I'll put her in the shower and she's looking very sorry for herself now. Oh, new you pop it? All she wants to do is jump on the sofa but she's not allowed because she's a wet, wet stinky doggy mess. Why don't you lose? Your wet stinky doggy mess? Yeah. You're a good girl. You're so good. You're so good to let mummy wash you. Yeah. I gave you a treat, didn't I? I gave you some cheese. You like cheese. Good girl. Good girl. I'm on my way to work. I'm in a rush. It's like five to nine. Which of it only takes five minutes to get there. Hey guys, I'm at work again today. I've got to be there at ten. Um, I'm not sure what time I'll be there till at least probably till one or two. Maybe till five? Dunno. This is the nature of casual work. You never know when you're going to be working till. Um, so yeah, it's a lovely, another lovely day in paradise. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon and I'm making green tomato chutney because I've got tons of green tomatoes off my tomato plants. I've harvested, harvested them all now. Um, and I've got two big bowlfuls. I've got, so I'm doing, I've just measured out two kilos and I'm going to do two kilos of green tomato chutney then I've still got another bowl full probably another probably almost another two kilos of green tomatoes I'm not really sure what to do with probably chutney as well but I'll maybe try a different recipe for that one so I'm going to just chop the tomatoes up and get started rain this afternoon so I was going to get stuck into my garden this morning but I just got to make some muesli first because we're out of it and I just had to wash up the sink was blocked apparently I poured some fat down the sink last night and it all got stuck so Ben had to unscrew the sink and unblock that for me um I was going to say oh a lovely lady messaged me um sort of last night this morning and said that she'd like watching my videos and that um she's a Kiwi living in London and her partners from Britain and they're gonna come over and hopefully get in the residence visa. So it was lovely to receive a message, thank you very much. Um, it's nice to know that people are watching my videos and are enjoying them. So it kind of spurs me on to keep on with the weekly vlogging because it's kind of hard to keep motivated to do it. <laughs> um, but I do like watching them back myself and like seeing what I've done and I think it'll be good in like a few years time when like just to like a diary like a video diary I suppose to remember how things were and um, things in the house are a little bit untidy at the moment Ben has well we started applying for permission to put our log burner in with the council and he's got all the flu out and stuff um, and we are using manuka tree poles as our curtain hook as our curtain rails because the they're, they're just criminally expensive. I think they were like like forty or sixty dollars for a decent curtain pole. We need like one massive one over the French drawers. We needed like two for our bedrooms. So we needed one, two, three, four, five curtain rails. And if they're like forty, sixty dollars each, it adds up. Especially when, to, when you move to a new country because you need to buy so much stuff and if you buy it all in one go, it's very expensive. So the curtain poles look really good actually out of Manuka. It makes me feel like um, really beachy. So this is one of them in the bedroom. It needs to be sanded down a little bit more. I don't know if Ben's going to oil it, but that's what it looks like. I think it looks quite nice. Just got a new dog called Daisy, Daisy the hunt away. Daisy. Daisy. Oh, hello Daisy. Sit there. It's all sunny now. We've borrowed a double sit on kayak 
from um, a relative that lives nearby, and Lucy's joining us. Can you see her? Oh, no. Um, she's very fidgety at first. I think she just wants to either eat the paddle, eat any bird life that's floating around on the ocean, or just jump in the water. But um, she's very, she's sitting down now. I think sitting down now okay, but before she just wanted to jump out. been driven around. It's lovely. It's quite good from that point of view, isn't it? There's no stingrays about yet. No. They normally like this bit yeah, because it's really not. shallow and they like the warmth. They come in here to sunbathe. Well, you can talk to the camera too, Betty, if you'd like. Okay. There's loads of stingrays just around us. I'll try and catch one on film. I don't know if it'll come up or not. That's a rock. <laughs> oh, fish. oh yeah, all the fish are jumping. One just coming up here. I don't know if you'll see it, the dark thing in the water. Sorry. It's a rock. It's a rock. There's one here. 